Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm going to be using this orange set of Halloween dice that has been on the show before. Hopefully today they're lucky. Let's get it started with our Roll for Bread. Two freezer ends. Today from the freezer we have some Hawaiian bread that we need to use up. Ideally, Hawaiian bread wouldn't be toasted normally because it's nice and soft. But since it is frozen, we are gonna use our toasting can trip to bring it back to life. We're gonna go ahead and toast it on just about the lightest setting we can to make sure it's no longer frozen, but maybe still a little soft. Next up, let's roll for main. Seven, roast beef. All right, roast beef is a nice change up from what we've been getting recently. I don't mind roast beef, not a bad way to start off this Friday sandwich. Let's roll for cheese. Skull, that's a six, Brunost. All right, the caramelized whey cheese from Norway gets another shot. It being paired with those abominable crabs was very unfair to it, so I'm happy to give it another shot today. It will be interesting to see how the sweetness plays, as that can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what else we roll. Let's roll our roughage. Double sevens, double lettuce. Well, double lettuce is a bit of a boring roll, so I think I'm gonna use a level two spell here, Relish Rebuke, which lets me replace one of those instances of lettuce with a pickled element. Lettuce is fine. I have no qualms about putting the lettuce on my sandwich. I just didn't really want a giant mound of lettuce and nothing else. And for my pickled element, I'm choosing sport peppers. After running out of this Chicagoland treat earlier this season, I was graciously sent some more by a viewer, so thank you. The acid and heat from the sport peppers will go great with the roast beef, and I think we'll counterbalance the sweetness of the cheese nicely. I think that use of a spell will do a lot for this sandwich. All right, let's get wild with the wild magic roll. 13, extra sauce. All right, I guess we'll be rolling for two sauces today on this sandwich. Hopefully they go together. Here's our first sauce roll. Nat 20, I get to pick. All right, I'll wait till we see what our second sauce is and pick accordingly. And last but not least, it's our D20 sauce roll. Two, ketchup. From a nat 20 all the way down to ketchup. All right, I guess for my nat 20, I'm gonna pick this spicy brown mustard. Since I know we're adding some sweet ketchup to this, I'm gonna go the opposite direction with this spicy, vinegary, you know, pull it more in that direction, which will then get balanced out again by the ketchup and just have a little bit of a tug of war, I guess, between these two flavors. Here's the ketchup. I am really on a ketchup streak and I, it's, I don't like it. Let's get this sandwich closed up, get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. Well, it looks pretty good. Well, the dice have definitely reminded me who's in charge. Still, this seems like it might be okay. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, not bad. Sometimes roast beef can be kind of dry, but this isn't, so that's good. Plus we ended up with extra sauce anyway. I think the sweetness from the Brunost comes through even more than the sweetness from the ketchup, and it's dragging it down a little bit for me. The sport peppers and the mustard do a lot here though. It's got a nice little bit of spice and kind of kick. The crisp lettuce and crunchy peppers are nice. And the bread is still relatively soft, so there's a nice contrast there. It's got some flaws, but I'm okay ending the week on this, especially considering where we started. It's a relatively cohesive sandwich, just not my choice of flavors. Definitely think the spell helped though. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.4 and I'm gonna call it, We Got Beef. I'm looking at you, Dice. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this week. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you again on Monday.